Talking about the conspiracy where Tetris was designed to make sure people can't make robots. Yeah, um, it was developed by Russian AI um, AI researchers who realized that you couldn't really uh, research AI in the. I 60s. thought you were about to say worship machines, I almost said and worship. I was about to say I think you and I have a disagreement on our hands. <laughs> but yeah, uh, basically, um, he made Tetris uh, while he was supposed to be researching AI because AI couldn't be researched properly with the technology level of like the sixties. He can't really get far with fucking tape decks. Right. Uh, so he made Tetris because he was bored. And then it got released to the world at large. And uh, some people thought it was a Soviet conspiracy to stop any American programmers from getting work done. And it damn well worked. It certainly stopped American school students. Oh, it stopped me from getting a lot of shit done. It also stopped a mortar shell. That too. Yeah, there was. It still were, works. There was uh, a copy of Tetris that um, got hit by a mortar shell in the Gulf War. And uh, the only thing that happened was the cartridge got fused into the Game Boy. Yeah. It still runs, but yeah, you, you're never have... unplugging that cartridge. No. You're also never unplugging that Game Boy because I'm pretty sure just from age it's now become fused to its electric battery. <laughs> yeah. All the alkali would have just melted. Yeah. Goddamn. But yeah, it's in like a war museum or something. I thought it was in a... the play museum. Okay, well, it's in a museum. It's in a museum. There's. It does, in fact, belong in a museum. Yeah. Indiana Jones went to the Gulf War to retrieve a Game Boy. You know what? Considering how fast and hard the quality of his films declined, I wouldn't have been surprised. I need I need to acquire the, the fucking holy Game Boy. Yeah. So I could stop the Soviet Union because it's no longer good tastes to stop the Nazis. What? Since when did it stop being good taste to stop the Nazis? I don't know. That's why I was disappointed that he wasn't fighting the Nazis in Crystal Skull. Well, the whole deal was that he was old. And yeah. And they wanted it to be timely. As opposed to replacing Harrison Ford. So, how would it have been timely that he was fighting the Soviet Union? Because the, we were fighting the Soviet Union all the way up until the early 90s. Hmm. I, I quote unquote fighting. Cold War isn't fighting. It's just staring angrily at each other from across a picnic table. For 40 years. 40 years. While you let your kids fight. Yeah, proxy wars. Yeah. Oh, by the way, one of your partners, I'm not sure which, just throws out a fucking flashbang that'll freeze entire crowds. Neat. Yeah, these two are actually quite useful. As opposed to my previous two, which gave me better drops and that's it. Yeah. I mean, you know, that in of itself was nice. Yeah, but these guys can fight. Yeah. These two can hold their own. As opposed to me just milking that one dude for one passive benefit. Yeah. Like, if you actually ever... Oh, by the way, one of them is down. You're gonna, you're gonna need to... Well, no, she's not down, but she's quite low on health. That's what I've noticed. Misora seems to have almost no defensive capabilities whatsoever. Well, neither do I. I just heal off base, uh, base Yeah, on, but um... she doesn't have native healing. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, I helped her up. Okay. Well, that was a happy ha co coincidence. Yep. But yeah, no, like, in my playthrough, like, I have a fucking... I still use that, uh, healing burst att ability. And, like, I have to do it, like, more for her than any other reason. Just because she... Like, look at t t t t Tsukimi. He's probably been at that health level for most of the stage. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. He's... Hey, Viking helmets! Nah, it's like the the more ornate samurai style. Whatever, they look cool. Where they're like, look at me, I'm an oni, am I not terrifying? And the normal peasant would be like, well, I mean, you have a large spear, and you can afford this thunder beast you call a horse. <laughs> yeah, I forgot most of Japan didn't have horses for a very long time. Yeah. If you had a horse in Japan, you would, been imp you would better have been important. Or a really good thief. I mean, I guess in theory, if you steal a horse, no one's going to be able to catch you on account of you have the horse. <laughs> you have the only horse in Japan. Yeah. Who will catch me? It's like stealing a Formula One car. Yeah. Like The, the, the cops are probably just going to let you go, because it's just easier that way. Maybe they'll put up a roadblock. But I don't know, man. If yeah. you hit someone at Formula One speeds... Everybody's dead. Yep. Oh, did you know that a Formula One car uh, hits a moose? 
um, the moose actually won't damage it because it'll sweep the legs out. God damn it, land so I can ground break you! Uh, it'll sweep the legs out of the moose, and the moose's body won't fall fast enough to hit it. The car will be gone <laughs> I by the this... time the moose body falls. <laughs> I this one also has to do with the shape of a Formula One car. They're very low Effectively to being a cheese grater with wheels beneath it. Yeah, yeah, that too. But yeah, it'll, it'll dent the bump or something, Fierce. But, uh, it'll otherwise be fine. <laughs> yeah, I should imagine hitting a, like a, what is a fucking moose, a ton? Yeah, yeah. Moose weighs more than a smart car. Yeah. Moose are big, man. They're bigger than a fucking minivan. Yeah, some are. Yeah. Canadian moose are. The fuck you up. They don't care. That's still a nice sword. Yeah. If you're into that sort of thing. Do you want to be an armor? Do you want to be a fucking knife fighter with holy knives? No. Holy diver! Oh. By the way, I'm using that sword in one of my builds. That is so nice looking! And it has poison damage. And it's level 13. And it's a two-handed sword. Mm-hmm. Mm, maybe. I mean, it's something to build in the background. I might have to consider this. I mean, really, at the end of the day, once you get it to a high enough level, it's just a cosmetic change for your ex No, grab the blue part. It has no good R abilities. No, no. Merge it into the sword. Oh, right, derp. There you go. Because then I think from blue, it's an easy hop into yellow, eventually. Anyway. Uh, once you get it to a high enough level, it's just a cosmetic change for your, uh... For your, uh... Robot? Yes. Your, your existing sword. Big fucking bazooka. I, I guess. I mean, it's fat. Yeah! I think we have a new head. Get the blue part to make it blue. Deva dee, deva die. If I was green, I would die. People hate me when I say that. Oh, man. I get it stuck in my head now. Eh, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> I still love those arms. Yeah, they're, they're pretty dumb. Shit, I'm getting a lot of durability. Man, nothing wrong with durability. You can stack real fast. Like I said, I've got a durability that may breach into the millions. Maybe that's why, because you're farther along in the game. No, even at this point in the game, I think it was mostly because I got lucky drops and it was more durability drops than anything else. Okay. Step distance, movement speed... Option equipment, movement speed. Because, like, I have enough durability to have spread it between five different builds. Nice. Because I like building these mechs. It's fun for me. That's a neat backpack. Mm hmm Yeah, this is Avi Shields, all right. That was the first shield you used, actually. Yeah, it recollection. Was. Boost speed. Actually, that's not bad if you want to go faster. I don't care about going faster. That's only good if you have a gun in your shield. I don't. Convert yeah. all to GP. Alright, game, what do you got for us now? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. straight to assemble. See you next time, or see you after this, folks. Okay. So. Alright, we're back? Yeah, we're back. Alright. Changes to the Gundam. Uh, some stat increases, and I have made it stereotypical Gundam color. Mm-hmm. It, it is now the main character. That it was always meant to be. Yep. Yep. Time for core assault. Astronaut trainees. Oh, this is me training? Oh. Oh, it's yeah. the finals. Yep. Don't forget, if you win, you go to the space. Yeah, I get to go to the space elevator, which is completely practical, except for the fact that it's impossible with current technology. And stupid. I love space elevators. Shut They're up. a really neat science fiction concept. It's really stupid. It makes me mad. <laughs> Why does it make you mad? I don't know. It just does. I just don't... That head looks really good in white. Mm -hmm. I might keep that as opposed to going to the Viking horns. Yeah. I mean, it is your mech. You can do whatever you want. Personally, I'm always a fan of big dumb horns. <laughs> Actually, that's a part you can buy to just slap on your mech at any big point. Big dumb horns? Yeah. But that would involve taking away missiles to add on big dumb horns. I don't think they actually take up a slot. 
Oh. They, well, or at then. least it's a cosmetic thing, so they might not take up slot. Well, then I'm gonna buy me some big damn horns. I was gonna say, buy the big dumb horns and see. I mean, Actually, I think worst like... case scenario, you are now the proud owner of big dumb horns, and there's literally nothing wrong with that. I think at some point I'm gonna change my arms and my backpack again, just because I look too visually busy. Yeah. It's like Dark Souls. The stats matter less than your aesthetics do. I'd say switch out the backpack, honestly, because like you don't even use the fucking floaty traps that much. I, I use the laser of it more. So if I can just swap out for anything that has a ranged attack as a backpack, and get roughly the same use out of it. Of which there are many. Oh yeah, I'm sure there are a great many backpacks in the Gundam universe that have a ranged weapon. <laughs> yeah, such as most of them. <laughs> It's, e it's either a booster or a ranged weapon, and since I don't really care about going fast, ranged weapon it is. Also, I still fucking love that Gatling gun. It's a pretty good Gatling gun. It's pretty good, and I can move while I shoot them. Yeah. Now you know how I feel when I just have a Gatling gun as my weapon. By the way, you see those cannons? You can mount those at any point. So there's something I've noticed, by the way, about these core missions, and I don't know why, but the core really fucks with everything in the immediate vicinity. What do you mean? Well, if you were looking uh, a moment ago, a lot of the fucking weapon effects were going nuts whenever the core is on the screen. Huh, that is weird. Like, you'll see them, like, cutting out jaggedly and in weird shapes. But yeah, I think I need to change the Talgi's arms, too, just because, my god, uh, board steer? This is the, the mounted weapon. Although the other team's dead, so it no longer matters. Oh, well, fuck me, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's quite a powerful cannon, actually. Mm. Wait, what the fuck? Oh yeah, there's laser turrets. It's just easiest if you go after them now. Like, I recommend getting rid of them before they become a problem. They have very low health, but their weapon is well, annoying, to say the least. That should deal with them. Oh, uh, you'd think so, but they're spread out decently. That should deal with them. There you go. <laughs> oh, hey, that meter's going down. Still don't know what's happening. It's in the red. What did I do? I don't know. Am I overheating? Am I dying? I don't think you're overheating. Yeah, this backpack has a really good beam on it, but I mean, like... There's other better views. Yeah. That look less visually nightmarish. I'm yeah. covered in too many things. Yeah, you're a bit of a... It looks like someone just dumped their bit spin onto a gun. You know what would actually be really cool? What's that? If you could custom order, like, a sprue with your own choice of gun parts on them. They have that in principle. Which is the uh, Gundam Build Fighter Builder parts. Yep. Uh, they'll have weapon packs, um, some of which are ludicrously expensive on the aftermarket, by the way. Yeah, I know. Uh, but they have, like, some of the more, like, common ones are pretty reasonably priced. Uh, I had to replace some parts recently, so I used uh, Builder parts. And I mean, like, I needed some spikes, and it was five bucks for a pack of, like, 16 Zaku spikes. Okay, what I was talking about is, like, I kind of wish that you could just buy just the leg sprue. Uh, oh! Like a thing. Yeah. Well, like, the problem with that is, like, the legs, the leg sprues, because they're done in colored plastics, yep. are spread throughout the, the, the entirety of the sprue, right? Oh, fair point. Fair point. Yeah, because, like, for example, let's take the original Gundam, whose color scheme you're presently wearing. Red, so the white, torso, Yeah. So the torso is blue and red. Uh, the legs are white, but have stripes of red. And uh, the arms are white with stripes of blue. Yep. So this means that the legs are spread between one, two, and possibly three different sprues, depending depending on the shades, the uh, the different colors, and of course whether or not it's a later a later uh, production model and therefore has like the basics of a skeleton in there. Because like a lot of the revive kits, for example, now have interior leg parts that, while not forming, like, a full skeleton, certainly form, like, the basics of a leg without armor. Actually, I quite like that. Uh, a lot of the, um, origin kits have been doing that. Where you can't build it fully without armor plates, but you can take them off a lot of it. Cool. 
Yeah. There's actually a... Uh, IBO code... is pretty much entirely that, because the entire gimmick of IBO was that they're all, like, all the Gundams were yep. one frame, and the difference was the armor plates. There's actually a, a company specifically called uh, Kotabayu, I think? Kotabashi? Yeah, Kotabashi, that makes a, um, a set called Frame Arms, where everything is all based off of the same frame. Yeah, 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 I've seen and... some of their uh, some of their stuff. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, apparently they're fragile as fuck, though. Yeah, like... That tends to happen, though, when you're building the skeletons. They're kind of smaller, and consequently, they'll be more fragile. Uh, so far, the IBO stuff has been pretty sturdy, which is what I've been liking. Okay, what, what I've heard is that the parts come out really easily, and it's like a nightmare to get everything to stay, so people have started uh, taking to gluing them. Uh, for me, personally, um, the only parts I've ever had to glue for Gundams have usually been superfluous parts, like the horn, the command horns, or, uh, occasionally spikes, which I really wish I had done on fucking the guy who lost the spike. Uh, but yeah, like, and, like, that's usually the case, like, especially with, uh, we've talked about this way, way back, but, like, older kits would have, like, mold fatigue, and that sometimes happens. At least with newer kits, you'll find that they're usually quite, like, tight and snap in real nice. Yeah. And once again, I recommend to anyone who wants to build, like, a modern kit that just goes together nice, IBO or, um, Revive. IBO, Revive, or Origins are the, 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 the three, like, big lines that are having new shit added to them that have quite a variety, honestly. If you like older looking mechs that look a lot more like blocky and like, you know, training wheels, the robots. Like they were being made out of uh, recycled tin cans by a Japanese worker post World War II? Uh, no, more along the lines of like, in universe, we don't yet know what we're doing. Ah. Uh, go for Origins. If you like a wide variety of shit, go for Revive. If you like IBO's bizarre skeleton aesthetics with like, no middle body and a lot of fucking other bizarro shit, go IBO. Although the one advantage of IBO is that the more IBO kits you get, the more crazy, dumb shit you can do. Yep. Actually, uh, with the frame arm set, uh, there's a secondary set that goes along with it that's 100% compatible. Um, and it's just crazy parts? No. Uh, it's replacing the skeleton with Animu Girls. Yeah, okay. Oh man, they have that for Gundam, which was the Gundam Girls. The Super Fumina. Well, yeah, there's that too. Uh, but what I meant was, like, uh, they had a line called the Gundam Girls. And it's straight up just, like, anthropomorphized, like, waifu bait women. Oh god. Uh, as the different mechs. Alright. Uh... Wasn't that an anime called Infinite Stratos? Possibly. Where it was literally just ripped off Gundam designs, uh, on, like, high school girls? Yeah, that sounds like a thing that happened. And I mean, like, straight up ripped off Gundam designs. The Gundam Girls, to my knowledge, is official, and it was sort of like a joke book they released that took off, and they're like, well, we're not gonna not make money off this. Yeah, Gatling was definitely a good idea, considering how much I heal on hit. Yeah. I can just stand here and take damage. And sort of middle ground it. Yeah. Oh, man. Remember when you were a golden aesthetic nightmare? Yeah. Now I'm just covered in too many chunky bits. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you really have time to even appreciate them when you're on the move, considering the crazy fucking shit you do. Yeah. Yeah, I do a lot of warping around and a lot of explosions. Oh, man. So there was a thread on uh, 4chan. Uh, you remember in episode 3... Episode 3 of what? Uh, Star Wars. Episode okay. 3. When they go in to arrest Emperor Palpatine... Oh, fuck, we are way too late. Uh, see you next time, folks. Bye, everybody. Pause the video so we have a good cut point. Pause. Alright, we'll see you next time, folks.